Hello everyone and welcome to a new demonstration video. So today we will be seeing about the demonstration of a particular tool that is a visualization tool called as VMT that is your virtual molecular dynamics. Mostly this particular visualization tool is used in your in visualization of uh, molecular dynamics simulation results. So I will also show you with uh, some example which I already have those uh, molecular dynamic files. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I'll be showing you the demonstration via two systems. One is your Windows as well as your Mac. Okay, so let's first get into the Windows system. So as you can see, this is the Windows system. So here we will type in VMD. Okay, so if I search C visual molecular dynamics, so if I go inside this, so if I want to download, I can go to download VMD. Okay, so once I go inside this, then I can choose my options like uh, which particular, uh, uh, like uh, uh, your interface I am having, like uh, Linux, Mac, or Windows, likewise. Okay, so uh, here I am having the operating system as Windows, so I can click on this, that is a 64 bit processor. So I can like agree on this, all those things. So uh, before this, you might be having a, a registration part. So as I have already registered, so that is why it is able to recognize that, uh, see, I am Pradit Banerjee and agreeing on this particular licenses. Okay, so I can agree on all of this. Okay, then it, uh, it will redirect me to the page where I can select which particular link I have to download for the executable file. So here I can see that uh, this is a Windows 64 bit. So I will click on this and see the download has initiated. Okay, so here the download has initiated. So this is the main step that you have to follow. And after this, you can double click on this. Okay, uh, once you double click on this, you will be redirected to uh, your uh, uh, installation page. Okay. So here you can see, so once this is done, so then we can click on to the next, okay, and agree on the software agreement. And once we agree, so then it will start installing, okay. So once it uh, starts installing, so then we'll be uh, um, having the uh, icon image afterwards, so that I will show you, and then I will move to the my Mac system, and I will show you the demonstration part as well, okay. So here, uh, let it run, uh, let it install basically. So see it is done, we can hit on finish and now it is opening. Here you can see, so as it utilizes the terminal, but I am not having those files in this uh, Windows system, so I will move on to the Mac system to show you the demonstration part, but this is how the installation is done in the Windows system, okay. So let's uh, now get on to the Mac system, okay. Here, uh, here the process is same. Again, you have to type in VMD, hit on install. Here you have to uh, like um, install the disk image and then drag drop that particular file into your application folder. Okay, so that is it. So now getting on to this part. See, uh, this is the interface, what you can see. So now let me upload a file or select a file by via which you can understand more. Okay. So I will go to the molecule or maybe file, file and load a new molecule. Okay. And in this uh, new molecule, I can select the file name. Okay. So I can go to browse and if you have the location in your mind, so directly you can click. Okay. Uh, you can go to uh, desktop or wherever the file is located. You can go to that. Okay and uh, locate that particular file or there is another way you can do the custom filter so the first folder that we will be having will be your dot gro grow file uh, because it is from grow max okay so okay if i hit on hit on okay then if i go to your uh, i have it in downloads so in downloads this is the file okay if i click on this file if i hit okay Okay, so this particular thing I can hit on load. So see the molecule is loaded. 
but uh, here just the environment and the molecule basically the protein molecule is loaded it is just a, a protein in water simulation so uh, this particular protein and uh, uh, like water grid grid water parameters have loaded now i will load the trajectory file to run this particular thing okay so i will again go to browse okay and apply the custom filter and now this time i will be doing dot xtc okay so if i hit on dot xtc then i'll uh, i am having two files basically so i will select this one so if i hit on this and now see the gromax trajectory compressed a uh, trajectory file is loaded okay so if i now load it so now you can see this is the simulation running okay so i can maximize it to show you here you can see so this is the file this is the uh, this is the protein in between the uh, the blue in blue color it is represented okay and uh, the outer one is your environment here you can see okay so it has just stopped because our uh, so this is a very small simulation of uh, 20 uh, nanoseconds so that is why okay so you can head back to the same like uh, get back to you can apply escape or here you can also apply like uh, cancel out this particular window so yes so this is the way how you can do your things okay so in uh, so let me know in the comments if you can execute the same and if you are facing any problem also let me know and uh, if you want to know about more of such visualization tools be it uh, of your dynamics be it from for your uh, docking exercises or knowing about um, any uh, anything else you can comment down below and don't forget to subscribe so thank you and happy learning